All right, y'all. You guys, you, I'm sure you guys know what time it is. I'm gonna make the video again with um everything it, it, meta build guide. Basically, um, we've seen the new Jet Striker rework and the Ice Grab rework. Ice Grab looks really good right now. It looks like a good roll catcher. You go invisible, you teleport, and then the new Jet Striker mantras. You have two of them. One is a dash, like the Just Karita move. I'm not sure if it is here yet, but one is like the Just Karita move. One is like, um, <clears throat> sorry. One is like the Just Karita, the dash. I think Karita leap. And if, oh, Fake Strike is here. And then Jet Kick. Yeah, Jet Kick. So this one, rush forward with the Jet Kick requires a target if you're in combat. You dash forward. And then Fake Strike, you teleport behind somebody and you do three kicks. Um, both really solid mantras, very quick. I believe I will, I'll get into this in a second. Um, and then we have the new ice mantra, but here is what I think is really good right now. So, um, right off the bat, we have light weapon still super strong with cerulean threads. So Cer cerulean thread, super strong. Uh, if I chose talents, it'd be doing a lot, a lot of damage. Um, let me get Neuro. Uh, by the way, Underdog does 3%. It's a 3% buff. Don't go Underdog. Do not do not go Underdog anymore. If you are going 50 willpower for just Underdog, wipe your build. Underdog is bad. Go as much health as you can. Underdog gives 3% damage buff. People told me it was 10. Apparently, I was lied to. So proficiency, super good right now. Erudition, keep that around two. Uh, six vitality for proficiency. This is, uh, and then if you wanted to go over mantras, so let's say you have this build right here. I will put this in my Discord. So tanky build with the new, or with a lot of momentum based things. And then jet striker with swirling thread. This is a con. Uh, you can change things around if you wanted to do non-con. Um, but here you get Karita Leap and then you can get Jet Kick. These, one is a combat, one is a mobility. I just, I want you guys to take note of this. One is a combat, one is a mobility. They basically do the same thing. You can chain them. That, then you get Karita Dive Bomb and then you can get Fake Strike. These three, super good. Super, super good mantras. And then you can get something uh, like Shoulder Bash or Beast Burrow to use Heretics in. Um, but yeah, you guys get that. Um, so just saying right now, Heavy and Light Weapon are going to be very, very solid with the new Jet Striker. I honestly think that Heavy Weapon might be better. I will show a Heavy build after this. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to show you what you can do with the Just Karita mantras if you want to do that as well. So then now you can get your support so eh, get gaze gaze with a wind gem this is all to stack all the mobility buffs all that and then you have everything that moves you dashes you don't need to parry trade with this build and then you can get something like rapid slashes um exhaustion strike and revenge this right here you're getting blocked after the chime match <laughs> broken Something like this, where you use Karita Leap, Karita Dive Bomb, that little combo. And then if you're in a parry trade, you use um, Fake Strike right here, Fake Strike in, or you Rapid Slash into Fake Strike, something like that, or it teleports behind, it lands Spine Cutter, does the slashes, does the three strikes, uh, and then Jet Kick, Shoulder Bash, all just a bunch of super solid mantras. Jet Striker is super good right now, super good spot you're going to start seeing a lot of higher agility builds starting at like 65 going to 50 uh, maybe 50 after but i feel like 65 before shrine then 50 is really solid at the moment so i would suggest something like that another thing to mention is that iron sing has been nerfed overall um ice rising frost has been nerfed and cure seizure the new weapon that came out actually has been buffed so it, you guys want to look at that, go look at the update logs. Um, you guys can, a lot of you can figure that out for yourself, but that's just me going over that. And then a lot of base things in the combat have changed, but basically the new Jet Striker mantras, I will tell you this now, they do more damage at max momentum. So if you have things that build up momentum fast, uh, wind gems, stuff like that, 
then you will be doing a lot more damage, a lot more posture, all that. Um, and then also, you steal their speed when you hit them in their back. It's Go read it. It's, it's broken. Um, but what I was going to show you guys, so people would make these builds where they'd get 40 light weapon at 40 light weapon, like 80. They go rail blade, right? So what they do is they go rail blade and then they'd get just Karita mantras. Okay. And then they go 40 because just Karita mantras aren't as good. If you go below 40, they get like heavily reduced damage. So then they get like, they get these. So they'd have a heavy weapon with these just Karita mantras and it would be super, super, super strong because you'd have these fast dashing mantras that you usually just don't get on heavy weapons um, because heavy weapons are more about the strong like standing still, uh, holding around like onslaught, punishment, stuff like that. But with light weapon you have these dashy kind of teleporty mantras and then here you could easily get this, right? You go 40 light but that is a 40 investment sink here if you go jet striker you don't need to get these light weapons so you go jet striker right you have that 50 agility 65 pre whatever you get jet striker and now hold on now instead of these karita mantras you get these and there is that is really 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 strong for heavy so i feel like heavy has been buffed a lot in this update actually and the running attack has for uh heavy i think great swords has less uh end lag now so heavy has been buffed this update i would suggest you guys try the cure seizure maybe cure seizure jet striker something like that i don't know how good cure seizure is yet they also rebuffed um they buffed light's final toll a bit uh the scaling is 10 willpower now so yeah there's that as well other than jet striker though the ice the new ice grab is two stars, so we get ice, frost strong, 80. The new ice grab is two stars, I don't know if they've changed it yet. Yep, they have. Okay, so the new ice, oh, they haven't changed a thing. Basically, okay, so this is two stars now, and what it does is you turn invisible, you teleport to them, and then chains go on them. This acts kind of like jolt grab, but it is delayed. And the reason that's actually really good is because a lot of people will tap F um, right when they see something being used and after they like get up from knockdown or ice eruption. So let's say you go, you use ice eruption, right? Where's ice eruption? Let's say you use ice eruption, you M1 them and then you use frost grab right after. Before, they'd be spamming F. So right after the M1, they would come out of the ice eruption and then they'd click F and then the frost grab would get parried. But because this frost grab is actually delayed what would happen is they would hit f their parry would go on cooldown then you teleport to them and land that frost grab and be able to comp with them even further so this is very very strong and i would suggest you guys play around with this because this is a new play style for people like ice lance frost grab stuff like that is going to be much more viable because they'll be able to like combo into each other and you'll be able to see a lot of cool interactions with that um, other than that, yeah, so heavy weapon, light weapon, super strong this update. I feel like the weapons are more balanced than they ever have been. Um, you can help me in the comments for that, but that's that's what I do believe. Uh, I do believe Jet Striker is top three oaths right now. And if you want to choose an oath, Jet Striker, if you're not sure, go Jet Striker. Try it out. It also has Vanishing Follow-Up, which is a verse one uh, talent. Basically, when you flourish somebody, you teleport to them when they stop moving. So like when when they're done getting flung by your flourish, you teleport to them and All right, here's the bonus. For everybody that watched to the end. Everybody that watched to the end. Here's the bonus. Jet Striker Flame is the best element oath combo right now because Flame Emperor procs vanishing follow up or the uh, whatever it's called now. It procs the Jet Striker thing that teleports you. It so yes. Flame Palm would instantly teleport you if they have Flame Emperor. Anything that procs Flourish will instantly teleport you. So, uh, do with that information what you will. Uh, if you guys want that build I made, show my Discord, sub, like the video, leave your comments if you guys think there's any other metas that I missed out on. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.